Welcome to this video guys. In this video, we will create a repository and push to GitHub from Visual Studio Code. So this is my project and this is the project that we will be pushing to GitHub. So first, what we need to do is we need to install Git so that we can run GitHub commands in our local machine. So first go to this URL. I'll have this link in the description below. And here you will see download for Windows, download for Linux or download for Mac according to your OS. So just click on it. And if you are on Windows, click on 64-bit Git for Windows setup and the installation wizard will be downloaded. Okay, while this is downloading, go to github.com and if you don't have an account, create an account. Since I already have an account, I'll just sign in. Once you are inside GitHub, create a new repository and this is the repository that we will be pushing our code to from Visual Studio Code. And just write test repo. You can write anything that you want. And if you want this to be a private repository, no one will help have the access to this repository publicly. So for now, I'll just click on public because I don't care if anyone else sees this repository. Now click on create repository. Once the repository is created, we only need this URL. Now you can note that this URL is exactly the same as this URL with dot git added in the end. So you can just copy this and add dot git at the end yourself or you can just copy this. So I'll copy this URL and our git is also downloaded. Now you can just click on open file, click on install and your git will be installed. Once git is installed, you go back to your Visual Studio Code, go to Terminal or press the shortcut Control Shift or this quote icon and this quote icon to open Terminal. Now make sure that your terminal is inside your project directory where you want to create your Git repository. Okay, so this is the project root folder, Digital Assistant. And here we need to enter some Git commands first. So let's enter this command, git init. Now this will initialize the git repository inside our project folder. If you refresh this, you should see a git folder, but that is hidden in our case. So it's not visible. If your hidden files are visible, that project will also be visible. Now write git add and enter this period. So what this period is doing is this is adding all the files here to tracking so that it will be tracked by git. Any change you do will be tracked by git. Now we need to commit. So what this commit does is it makes our changes final and all the changes after which we have done a commit, those changes can be pushed. So I'll just write first commit and hit enter. And now as you can see, we have committed our changes and we are now ready to push. But where do we push to? So first we need to add a remote URL where we will push our code. So the command is git remote add origin and then the URL that we had just copied. So it's not remove, it's remote. Let me fix this and hit enter. Now it is saying remote origin already exists because apparently I already had this created. In your case, you will see a message that says remote origin created. And now you can just push this, get push origin master or any other branch that you want to push to. So this is the name of the branch where you are pushing. Hit enter. And as you can see, the code is pushed 